Helldivers 2 is back and patch notes has crazy changes. All in today's video guys, so grab a beverage, a hot cup of liberty as this update is literally huge. So let's dive right into the video. Before we start things off, make sure to stick around to the very end to find out everything you need to know. Yes, these legends have done it. I mean, who don't like these guys? Overview, major overhaul of anti-tank armor penetration, health and armor values, weapon and strategy and balancing, enemy reworks, held over health and damage mechanics tweaks, gas gameplay mechanic rework, new galactic war feature. So the big thing for me here is the enemy reworks. As you know, rockets devastate is just rape you 24 7. they blow their load all over me so this is what the team had to say hell divers thank you for your valuable feedback many players have expressed feeling constrained in how they approach challenges often relying on a limited set of tools while other options seem less effective this has impacted your ability to play the game in a way that suits your preferences so straight up they have listened to the player base so managed democracy is back guys managed democracy is back so what's changing for all the bug divers out there many situations were previously either resolved with your primary weapon or anti-tank weapons which haven't always performed as expected with the overwhelming presence of bow titans and charges, many weapon choices therefore became invalid. Now this is major since we all know the issues surrounding our primaries and well, they just feeling straight up like pea shooters. To address this, we've reworked armor penetration, anti-tank weapons, enemy armor and health values. Our goal is to improve the effectiveness of weapons such as the auto cannon, heavy machine gun, flamethrower and anti-material rifle against heavily armored enemies. Although they may not be as effective as specialized anti-tank weapons, they are now more viable choices making your loadouts more versatile, fostering better team collaboration and planning. And you can see some of this in action over on the patch notes video. For me, I actually avoided the rockets for some time. I just felt like they did absolutely nothing against most enemies. So seeing this change makes me actually want to run the anti-tank class. I think they are making the game more widely diverse with how you can play the game. So each player can kind of lean into certain roles more. And for managed democracy, that's what I love to see. On the bots front, Hulks have also had their armor reduced, making them more vulnerable to a wider range of weapons. Additionally, to improve the gameplay experience, the Devastator and Gunship will now have a limited supply of rockets, and those rockets won't hit as frequently as before. This comes alongside the previously updated smaller impact radius for rockets, reducing excessive ragdolling. Ragdolling, man, the amount of times I've been busted by those rocket devastators are insane, so this is a major win. We've also made improvements to many primary weapons, bringing them closer to effectiveness to the most popular choices. This should offer more variety and flavor during your play sessions. We are adjusting damage mechanics to make the damage Helldivers receive more consistent over time by reducing 100% extra headshot damage to 50% to maintain the overall challenge of the game. We slightly increase the damage taken to other parts of the body. Our intent is to preserve intensity of the gameplay while minimizing frustrating situations where sudden headshots cause large damage spikes. So with this, I was very, very concerned on how easy it would become. I did not want the game to become, well, too easy. But all these changes, I have to say, I'm leaning more into liking than not, so that's great. I am a loyalist of Super Rough after all, so... I've got to do my part. With these changes, along with an upgraded Helldiver arsenal, enemy adjustments and more consistent damage, the overall difficulty may slightly decrease. We'll be monitoring this closely and we'll listen to the community on how you think it feels. Now moving on to the balancing because this is what got the community literally rattled. It almost destroyed the game so now Held Ivers 2 is seen a major U-turn. I can import some more liberty so I am a happy Held Ivers. <laughs> Previously, partial damage dealt 50% of full damage, which we found to be overly punishing and reduced effectiveness too much. Leading to an excessive reliance on high armor penetration weapons, we now increase partial damage to 65% of full damage to address this issue. The Helldiver now takes less damage from headshots, which previously dealt 100% extra damage, but now inflicts only 50% extra damage. 
Damage from hits to other body parts has been slightly increased depending on the area hit. This adjustment aims to normalize overall damage while maintaining detailed damage zones, reducing spike damage. Now I like that, less damage from headshots. As I said, keeping the game flowing, I think this is going to make a lot of players super happy. I've also linked the patch notes in description so you can check it out for yourself after this video. As you can see there's so many major changes here to the primary weapons and what stands out to me the most is the Liberator Concussive. Now comes with a drum magazine which holds 60 rounds. Number of mags reduced from 10 to 6. The number of mags have been reduced due to larger magazine capacity. Like that's crazy guys, that is literally crazy. I wanted something like this for ages so now managed democracy can be served with a nice cup of hot liberty. Are you going to be rocking the 60 round mag concussive? Let me know in the comments because I sure will be. But Breaker Man, that's upset a lot of people. Now it comes with an extended magazine which holds 16 shells and Stagger Force is increased from 10 to 15. This is also good to see. It will make the weapon so much more better to use. This is literally buff divers. It, it really is. The crossbow explosion radius increased by 50%. Explosive damage increased from 150 to 350. Wow, 350. The Eruptor. This is insane. Look what they have done to the Eruptor. You're going to love it. You are really going to love it. Shrapnel is back. We heard your feedback and reintroduced the Shrapnel. We have replaced the original Shrapnel with the Frag Grenade Shrapnel to no longer insanity one-shot Helldivers with the exception of the occasional unlucky headshot. And as you can see here, this is all the adjustments to the Eruptor. The Liberator Penetrator. Yes, one of my all-time favorite weapons that I've not used in some time because it's just, it's just sucked. It's just sucked for quite a long time now. But now it's had a slight damage increase. Damage increased from 45 to 60. Not a major buff, but it will make it a lot better to use, honestly. Man, the Blitzer, the Blitzer. An all-time favorite weapon of a lot of people, which I haven't really used much, now has a weak stun effect that builds up per shot on its targets. Man, these buffs keep coming. That they literally keep coming. This is a huge one, guys. So the flame mechanics have been reverted to before the Escalation of Freedom update. But I mean, come on, damage increased by 50%. You can't go wrong there. That is going to make a lot of people smile because for me and for many, I just thought the flamethrower was absolutely killed in the last update. Are you going to be using the flamethrower once again? Comment below. They have done what the community wants for managed democracy. Moving on to support weapons. I interrupt this video to say, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe for managed democracy. You'll also save a child's life from the automatons, so win-win. Dedicated anti-tank weapons like the Recoilless Rifle, if that's so I can never say the Recoilless Rifle, Quasar Cannon, Commando, Expendable Anti-Tank, Spear and Patriot Exosuit Rockets have all received significant damage boosts to enhance their effectiveness. So this is amazing, like I said I did not use these much since I did not think they did great damage against larger enemies as they should do. I mean I played last night and it took me about 4 Expendable Rockets to take down a Charger. Yeah, 4. 4. Remember guys, don't forget your liberty, okay? Or your coffee, whatever you're drinking, don't forget it, okay? Do not forget it. The next two parts explain that the expendable rockets are more highly effective now, and the commando is basically less stronger in comparison, but it doesn't take as long to take down large enemies as they used to. Now the grenade launcher is going to be crazy to use now. I have not seen many people use it for a while, so this will make people try it out for sure. Grenade launcher, starting spare magazines increase from one to two, max spare magazines increase from two to three, explosion radius slightly increased. The laser cannon now sets enemies on fire faster. Cooldown is slightly faster, removed recoil, sets enemies on fire faster, can now damage heavier enemies like chargers, bolt titans, impalers, hulks, adjustments to the heat VFX. Now the arc throw and the rail gun, I'm not going to go over in this video because we've all seen it, okay, it's all been addressed, so we're just gonna skip this part, okay? We're going to skip this part. Now there have not been major changes to the machine gun, such as the stalwart machine gun and a heavy machine gun. I mean, the heavy machine gun can now damage heavier enemies, like chargers, ball titans, etc. So that's something major, but everything else here is kinda like a little bit of a damage increase here and there. And I mean, all these changes are actually really needed, if anything. 
Even if they are slightly small tweaks and their little changes, I do think they are decent enough. And as I said, yes, the heavy machine gun can now damage heavier enemies and also the anti-material rifle can now too as well. This is going to make the game flow so much better and I'm really liking these changes. The commando can still take down bot fabs however it can't be taken down in a single shot it basically needs two to take them down manage democracy guys being served it is literally being served now the biggest news which many would say it's something players have wanted for such a long time the flamethrower yes as well as the flame mechanics being reverted they have also increased the damage by 33%. And also, it can now damage heavier enemies like Bolt Titans, Impalers, and Hulks. The reason I didn't say charges is because they could actually damage charges before the Escalation of Freedom update. So that's nothing really new. But to me, I really like that because I used to use a flamethrower for that reason, that it could take down charges, you know. Auto Cannon can now damage heavier enemies like charges, Bolt Titans, Impalers, Hulks. Now onto the grenades because surprisingly, they have had some changes to shrapnel damage increased by roughly 50 percent max amount increased from four to five refill increased from two to three explosion radius increased that's going to make the frag grenades a whole lot better because i mean i think they're quite all right as they are but yeah this is just going to make it 10 times better now this is what i like to see explosion damage increased from 100 to 2000 what the hell 2000 i mean i'm not complaining i'll take it shorter time until it ignites the thermite time until it explodes slightly reduced Max number decreased from four to three. And if you have not watched right the video, Thermites can now take down Hulks. Yes, they can take down Hulks. Democracy is being served. It's literally being served. Is that a bit overkill? That's probably overkill, but uh, nothing's overkill when democracy is involved. Stratagems, yes. So every stratagem capable of damaging heavily armored enemies has had their damage increased to account for the increased health of heavier enemies. The goal with this change is to have these stratagems on a similar or higher power level than before. In addition to that, we have made the following changes as well. And as you can see guys, there's a lot of changes here. So the explosion radius has been increased to match the visual better for the 500 kg bomb. But what really stands out to me here is we are reworking the gas gameplay mechanics to become more crowd control focused in preparation for the chemical agents war bond. The gas effect has been reworked to cause blindness and confuse enemies and hell divers alike at the expense of reduced damage over time. And that kind of makes sense to me. But we are now going to move on to the gameplay changes because this is probably the biggest news of this patch. I mean, there's so much news here, but this is the biggest, in my opinion, within this video. Automaton fabricators. Automaton fabricators now have health and armor in addition to their existing destruction system. This means that while many high armor penetration weapons can still destroy them, it may take multiple hits to do so, depending on the weapon used. Added effects to clear showcase their health state this is great news guys because arrowhead are now leaning more into fun than anything and i know a lot of you guys want that overall again don't get me wrong i don't want the game to become too easy but there's going to be more wiggle room you know more wiggle room to actually add more difficulties going forward there's so many more changes with the hulks these are all very similar to one another and this is honestly really amazing to see. Rocket Devastators have also had major changes. We're not going to go over this because we've seen this obviously in the daily update video. Before we move any further, what is your favorite change so far within this patch? Mine is the flame for a revert. What is yours? Drop a comment below. Gunships guys, gunships. Gunships now have limited amount of rockets. Rocket physics collision is smaller, making them easier to avoid. I think managed democracy is back. It is literally back, guys. Chargers have also had a massive rework, so they're not going to take 10 million shots to kill now. Just whip out a flamethrower and you'll be on your way just like before the Escalation of Freedom update. The Bile Titan and Impaler have pretty much similar changes. Even though you may read this and think, what the actual f tentacle damage has increased. But these changes are actually good because there's obviously loads and loads of buffs. So to combat all of these buffs, there needs to be some nerfs, you know, or say some enemies having a damage increase. Planet modifiers. The intense heat and extreme cold modifiers are no longer static throughout the entire mission and now change based on time of day or different weather conditions. Some desert planets will now only have the intense heat modifier active during the day. This means that during night, the planets will either have no modifiers 
or in some cases have the extreme cold modifier. These little changes really make sense to me and I'm hoping moving forward they add more biomes and planet modifiers. With all this being said, this is going to bring so many players back to Helldivers and I see a bright future ahead for this game. I am so grateful for every single one of you who have made it until this point. You Helldivers are legends. If I have the privilege of your time again, then I'm very thankful. Now go and conquer the galaxy for managed democracy and I will see you in the next video so democracy can prevail on YouTube. Because someone has to. If it's not going to be anyone else, it's going to be me, you and this community. Thank <laughs> you.